want to start off, when does the frost and freeze risk typically end, and then how does it vary across our country? Yeah, in terms of the, the sunflower seed from your your uh, yeah. your, your sun, Ari, I guess it depends where you live, right? If you're <laughs> in the uh, parts of the northeast in Great Lakes, it can be a difficult time of year here in late April to plan. Looking at the graphic here that shows from the eastern, if the eastern two-thirds of the country, basically, and we're clear, basically, in the southeast and Tennessee Valley, a lot of the plains will be, we're no longer dealing with sub-freezing temperatures at night. The western U.S. varies considerably depending on if you live in a mountainous area or in a valley, so it's, it's, it's more difficult to depict on a map, so know your local climate there in the west, but in the U.S., the risk, or in the eastern U.S., the risk here is uh, basically across the northern third or so of the uh, eastern United States here for the next uh, two to three weeks. And these are all historical averages. We know that there's some times where it's super early or super late, so can you share some of those records in some of our bigger cities? Yeah, it really depends where you live, obviously, but there's some really early last freezes. So the last, uh, uh, for instance, in Washington, D.C., February 27th, but the latest it uh, there was a freeze there was in, uh, in, in late April. But you go farther west into the Ohio Valley, in some cases, Detroit and, and Indianapolis, it doesn't, uh, there can be a freeze in late May. And farther out into the uh, western United States, Denver, Colorado, even the uh, record latest freeze there is June 2nd. Flagstaff, Flagstaff, Arizona, at a high elevation, even had a freeze on July 8th one year, many years ago. Wow, I love looking back at that data, just kind of fascinating and to know that, yeah, there's quite a range. Um, and speaking of the range, you know, if you use the AccuWeather app, AccuWeather.com, and folks are looking at kind of an hourly temperature or the overnight temperature, there can be a little bit of a vary, of course, for where the plants actually are. Yeah, certainly the case where the, the plants are at the ground level and you can sometimes be five, even six, seven degrees cooler at the ground level there than five to ten feet above the ground level where the temperature is typically measured. So even in, in a case if your low temperature tonight is going to be 34, 35 degrees, if that's the forecast, you can expect it to be a couple degrees cooler at ground level where the plants are. So even those cases, it's, it's good to either bring uh, sensitive vegetation inside or protect them overnight. That's a good tip. All right, let's go forward here as we wrap up April and we head into May. Uh, we could be talking about some frost and freeze risks here, even as early as Thursday morning this week. Yeah, uh, later this week, a chilly air mass uh, after a warm day here Tuesday by Thursday morning, a very chilly start across the interior por portions of the Northeast, including the green and white mountains of New England, as well as the Adirondacks are going to be a freeze and frost in those spots. Pretty typical for this time of year. And if we look ahead even to the weekend, it's going to be chilly again. Uh, another blast of some chillier air as we start May with temperatures well into the or falling into the 20s and 30s across the interior northeastern parts of southern Canada there so definitely uh, still some uh, blasts of uh, chilly air over the next uh, couple weeks in the northeast can, can cause frost and freeze. And we like to highlight our team such a large team here many different departments including the long range team and this next graphic gives some really additional information here about what we can expect uh, in the coming week so how does our team create this long range forecast yeah so we look at a lot of different uh, forecast models not just the short range models that predict the next week or so but two three weeks in the future we look at uh, the weather patterns across the globe to see how that's going to influence uh, the weather in the United States and there's different mechanisms uh, tools we use to do that and we look at historical years sort of similar years to get that forecast out one to two months to see what may happen and in this case we think that this area shaded in pink is where we have a higher than average chance of a frost that's later than average so in this case mid to late May we could still see some frost and freezes here across the northern portions of Pennsylvania through uh, uh, New York into New England, but the coastal uh, east coast here from Boston down to D.C. should be in the clear here from a frost freeze perspective after this weekend. All right, so final question, when can I plant my sunflower, Dan? I, I think here in central Pennsylvania, probably yeah. Mother's Day is a good is a oh. good weekend for planting. How beautiful. It's like they plan that on Very purpose. We, we yeah. love daycare. All right. Uh, AccuWeather Senior Director, Forecasting of Operations, Dan DePodden, thanks again so much for joining us. You're welcome.